this way You know the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on Bob Taylor Make his spears bright What fun it is to ride and sing A slaying song at night Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way You know what fun it is to ride and Merry Christmas. We are so excited to spend part of this morning with you. Christmas morning, it is such a great time. There's presents, there's the tree, and of course the day is filled with all sorts of yummy treats, like cookies. Well, hold on, Chad. It's a little early for Christmas cookies, don't you think? How about another song from AJ? Sounds good. we've made Chad wait long enough. Let's break out the cookies. Here they are. You know what's cool about these cookies, guys? They actually remind me of the Christmas story. Everyone grab a cookie. So I've got this candy cane cookie. What does this have to do with the Christmas story? Oh, it's actually really interesting. When the angels appeared to the shepherds, the shepherds were actually the first people that they talked to. And they told them, you know, we're bringing you great news of great joy for all people. So the candy cane kind of looks like a shepherd's crook. And it reminds us that this message the angels brought, they, it was for everybody, including lowly shepherds. What, what's this funny shaped looking one? Um, well, Chad, I'm pretty sure that didn't have teeth marks in it to begin with. Uh, thanks for that, by the way. Now, anyway, after the shepherds um, went to go see baby Jesus, they were so excited. And the story continues that they ran off to tell whoever they could. And so the bell reminds us of them shouting for joys and singing praises. So when you ring a bell at Christmas, you're ringing a bell for Jesus. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> Well, I'm going to trade mine in for this Christmas tree one here because this one has way more frosting. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Much better choice, Leandra. <laughs> well, you know, at Christmas time, we are surrounded by trees, right? Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. Beautifully decorated evergreen trees. And the evergreen trees actually remind us that God's gift to us was his son, Jesus. In Matthew chapter 1, we read, And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. And that's what the Christmas tree is a reminder of, a reminder that God gave us his son to save us from our sins and allow us to have eternal life. So I'm excited to eat this one right here, the yellow star. Yeah, the yellow star, can you guess what that represents? The star. The the star. <laughs> You're right. It represents the twinkle, star and it twinkle. represents the wise men. Oh. Um, you know, just like the star in the Christmas story, the star represents wonder and amazement. And the, the wise men, they had to travel a long way and they followed the star wondering where it was going to lead them. And it landed right above Jesus. And when they saw it, they were just so happy and so amazed. And so when we see a star at Christmas time, it reminds us of that. It reminds us of the joy and the wonder that we receive through Jesus Christ. Now, the next thing I'm going to share with you guys aren't actually cookies. Do you guys remember what these things are called? 
candy cane. Candy, candy cane, candy if you're canes. right. And if you put the two candy canes together, it makes a heart. Aww. Now, these this heart made out of the candy canes, it actually represents the best part of Christmas. The love that God showed to all of us by giving us his son. Yeah, so God so loved the world that uh, he gave us one only son. And whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Exactly. You know, while these cookies are yummy and the presents that we opened this morning are awesome, when it comes down to it, the sweetest gift was given to us that morning. A baby born, boy born to a virgin and placed to sleep in a manger. And no matter where we are this morning, no matter who we're with, there's always reminders of that special gift everywhere. Even in the things we don't realize. Like our Christmas cookies. Exactly. Let's eat the cookies now. So let's wait just a minute. And, uh, <laughs> we're going to go join AJ by the fire. Is that cool? Awesome. Everyone grab a cookie. So the Christmas story comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first uh, census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns uh, to register for the census. And because Jesus was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, and they were now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them in the inn. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Do not be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, laying down in a manger. Suddenly the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven praising God and singing, Glory to God, heaven in the highest and peace, peace on earth to those with whom God is, is pleased. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see what has happened, which the Lord has, has told us about. They hurried to the village and, and found Mary and Joseph. And there was one baby laying in a, a manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and the angel uh, and what the angel had said about this child. And all who heard the shepherd's story, they were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart, and she thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. So wherever you are, whether you're uh, in your living room in Omaha, maybe you're in uh, Cuba, maybe you're in Norway, um, wherever you are, I invite you to uh, join us as we pray a Christmas blessing upon our church family and upon uh, the church that Jesus has created. So God, we thank you for the gift of Christmas. Um, 
Lord, this has been uh, <clears throat> a different type of year. It's, uh, in fact, a different type of Christmas for many of us. But you tell us that Jesus is the same uh, yesterday and, and today and, and forever. Lord, I pray your blessing upon uh, those families who their, their next door of business is to uh, open presents, just like uh, the, the wise men brought, brought, brought presents uh, to the baby Jesus. May these gifts be received and, and given as uh, an act of love and an act of grace. Lord, maybe the next act of business is to uh, play with or use the presents that have uh, been received. Um, God, thank you for, uh, for your provi provision and uh, your grace. Lord, right now we want to pray, uh, you know, for those that don't have the resources to uh, enjoy a feast today, um, those who don't have the resources to, um, you know, exchange gifts. Lord, the gift of Christmas is uh, still the same for all of us, and that gift is, is Jesus Christ. Lord, he has uh, come to the world uh, to forgive our sins. He has come to the world to give us a full life here in this world and an eternal life in the, in the world to come. Lord, I want to pray right now for um, you know, families who, who get to celebrate today. Lord, I also want to um, you know, pray right now for those um, who are experiencing a different type of Christmas. Maybe it's a Christmas uh, you know, where they're alone because of uh, the pandemic. But God, you, um, you are a, a, a beautiful, you're a wonderful, you're a creative, you're an amazing, you're a powerful God. And Lord, just help us to celebrate Jesus' birthday today. Uh, the same Jesus who has come to the world to, to show us how to love and, and how to live. Um, the same Jesus that uh, heals the sick and has promised that he will be with us uh, always and in all ways. So God, we thank you for the best gift ever. We thank you for the gift of Christmas. We thank you for the gift of Jesus. Lord, as he has come to the world, I pray right now for all of us that we can um, invite him more and more and more every day uh, into our world. So Lord, this is uh, a beautiful gift. And now in one voice, and I invite you to join me wherever you are, uh, we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Have a great day. Hey, do you know what the gingerbread man said? Oh, snap. <laughs>